It's Banana Slime! Here of another episode of Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival. Uh, and today, it's not really too much of a big, like, episode of doing stuff. It's more of an update episode. So when you guys some updates on the, uh, my world and stuff, you may ask, where am I? Well, I'm actually in that mine you see. It, I've shown you before. I haven't shown you much since I've done it. But here's some updates. Uh, uh, well, uh, blah, I lost my train of thought there for a second. On my last video, somebody commented that I was just spawning stuff in that wasn't fair. And I can agree that just spawning stuff in wasn't fair, but a few things. One, that is P.S. who is spawning that stuff in, not me. Uh, yeah, that, and besides, that's why it's a custom Minecraft survival. And also, I think it was because I had had so many walls to make that wall around in ring around the biome. But actually, no, I did not spawn all those walls, and neither did the PS. Just I wanted to show you how much of a mine I actually have, and like all of this cobblestone I converted into walls. And another thing, uh, uh, the uh, the only thing that PS spawns in. Is, are in that chest and about with that the only thing that he spawned in for me that isn't in that chest was a lot of torches and coal but you may ask banana slime why do you need that well I have dug, dug this tunnel it turns around there and goes all the way down to bedrock and I have dug this entire hole and I have found two veins of coal out of that entire thing there, and about three or four veins in that hole down, well, like three veins in that tunnel. So I have no idea what the heck is wrong with my world. I dug from up here all the way down there in two veins of coal. Two. I cannot find coal anywhere. What the heck? So I've had to have PS give me a bunch of torches and coal because I just. It's insane. I cannot find any coal. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. I can't find co Wait. What? I've been looking coal forever and there's coal right up there. Oh my gosh. Okay, Minecraft hates me, guys. We all know it's true. Minecraft just hates me. Uh. Well, dang it. I was looking forever. How is there coal here? Oh, I was afraid it was going to be a vein of just one piece of coal there for a second. But, yeah, this is really lucky. I have, there's like the fifth, probably the sixth vein of coal I found this entire world total. And I do have a little le less XP than last time because I died in the mine when I was mining so much. I ran into a cave and the mobs came out and I have, I have not gotten any armor yet. So, yeah, uh, fail on my part. But I actually found 18 coal. That is quite amazing. And I don't know why I'm lagging. And another thing, guys. I do not, eh, I know I've been posting a lot of stranded survival. I'm sorry for that. I've been looking for other things to do. I haven't ran any cool mini games to play lately. And I wanted to start another series of uh, prison. But... I was playing on some prison servers, and I couldn't find any that was really good enough. And it didn't seem... I couldn't make... I don't think I can make a high enough quality video for making a prison series to be worth it. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But on to the next update. Okay. Well, as you can see, I very much extended my farm. My farm is a good amount bigger than it was before. And I'm careful to keep facing this way. Because I don't want to reveal my next surprise. Which is really, really cool. Uh, uh, but yeah, I've been working on this farm a lot. I don't even need PS to send me food anymore. Because I'm like completely... Uh, when it comes to food, I think I can consider myself self-sufficient. Uh, because I can get tons of bread now. I'm rich in bread. I've got all the bread I'll ever need. Prob well, definitely not, but I've got all the bread that I'd need for now. Gotta look down, because don't want to reveal my secret. 
uh, uh, yeah. And the, the more I, uh, the more I make this bigger, the faster it increases because I just keep getting more seeds and more seeds. And then I move, as you can see over there, I move the trees outside. I'm a, I don't want to turn my head anymore, or else you spoil the surprise. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I have greatly increased the size of, uh, of this farm, and I moved the trees outside because mobs were spawning all over it, which is in which is not good in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, after some hard work, I got that finished up. Also, I have been placing a ton of torches around the complex that we live in. And now I can confidently say that no mobs spawn anymore. Like, I, uh... Hey, is that out of the range of the water? Oh my, I think it might be too far for the water to reach. Is it? But it was working on... I think this might be too far, oh no. I'd have to shrink my farm down slightly, but I'm gonna... Sorry for getting sidetracked, but then the next thing. As you can see, the house is empty. That's because I have moved, which is part of the next surprise. The fact that the, uh, and, uh, the building that I was building, the first ha uh, house is done. And as you can see, there's only one door there now because the building was touching that. And that, yeah, you can see a corner of it right there. It was hitting the building, and I didn't like that, so I shrunk it down. So that's the old house, as you can see in my top left corner. And here is the new house. Dun, dun, dun! Dun, dun, dun! Uh, yeah, I spent hours building this. And before anybody asks... No, I did not spawn any of this stuff in. This is all from cutting down trees out there. Uh, and I built this whole thing. I liked it so much, I decided to make it my house. But yeah, mobs, I'm not even afraid to walk around here at night. I'm even going to do that because I'm going to do it because no mobs spawn. I put lights on there so they wouldn't spawn on top of the building. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I put walls around here so no one's going to fall in. And finally, look what we got here. We have a nice seepy friend. I found this seep wandering around and I thought, I can't let him just get killed by the mobs or despawn. I got to keep him and get his wools. So now I am rich in wool. Well, not exactly rich yet. I only have like five or six. But yeah, there's my seep. And as you can see, this whole thing is super bright now, and I'm building a second layer to the wall. What? Hello, Mr. Cow. Well, it appears a cow has come. Well, you want to come in here, Mr. Cow? Ooh, that moo sounded like a yes. Let's see if I can get up here. Yeah? Okay. I want to push you in, Mr. Cow. Eh. 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 Oh wait, the mobs are gonna start spawning out oh, now. Eh. Yeah, we got a cow, guys. We got ourselves a cow. Yay. But yeah, this farm's getting awesome. We've got ourselves a sheep, and now we've got a cow. I'm gonna have to milk him soon, even though I haven't had any problem with status effects. Uh, yeah, and I've got that little path there because I have some little flower pots and I want some grass in there. But yeah, I've transferred all that stuff, and I've got new stuff, which I've put in here. That looks a little derpy, but it's fine. At the bottom of these ladders, I have this. So this is it. This is the interior of the first floor, which you kind of saw during the episode where I started building this. And here's my chest chamber. And here I have all of this wood. And here is the beginning of my wool area. And here I have random plants and stuff, but I keep these... Uh, saplings with me because you know I want them around so I can replant trees. Here's my ores. Not quite much yet. Here are furnaces. These ooh I forgot. Uh, but yeah these are the yeah, this is where the coal I got from PS wind all of these furnaces. So only like six and eight I think. Which is only like uh 
How much is that? I don't math, people. I don't like to math. Here, uh, nothing and nothing. This used to be my cobblestone chest, but not anymore. This is miscellaneous items. Here's all the stuff, like my ticket to the noodle planet, some glass and dye. I was going to make orange dye, it, orange dyed glass for the wall, eh, for the windows, but I need more yellow, uh, yellow flowers. And my ticket to noodle planet and all these drops from the dungeon. Here I've got my extra bed. I only used one. This is a mob drop, drop chest. Sand and gravels. Uh, nothing, nothing, and nothing. So that's that floor. When you go up one more, this is my special cobblestone floor. This is going to be a floor dedicated to the holding of cobblestone. It's kind of weird because I can't put stuff in there because it won't open because there's walls there. And here I have my stone slab. And here I have all of this cobblestone. And you know that I've gotten a lot because I converted like 10 stacks of it into walls. At least 10 stacks. Here I don't have anything yet, but as you can see, like how the uh, trunk... Actually, uh, I want to change that real quick. Sorry, working when I'm supposed to be updating. See how that looks kind of like the acacia tree, how it goes up in a straight stalk, then it goes over a little and continues going up. Uh, it, it turned out the building was built kind of wrong, so it couldn't go straight up because I just hit my head on that. Uh, but I actually quite like it. And up here is my home. And look, I've got a nice little window to look out through while I sleep. I'm probably going to make that like a whole like 3x3 three three window. Uh, yeah, uh, this is my humble little home. So, it's a nice little thing. I've got a nice little house going on here. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. This is the new Banana Slime House of Awesomeness. And that means I have an extra house. Plus, if a villager wanted to, you could bunk in here on the bottom floors. I don't know if they can climb ladders. And as you can see, I haven't trimmed my sugarcane farm in a while. But as you know, sugarcane is love. Sugarcane is life. And yeah, like that whole time nothing spawned, which is amazing. But let's check the PS chest. Okay, so nothing new uh, except one villager egg moved from here to here. And this appears to be a new book. Let's see what we got. <laughs> now that you have built one building, you can spawn your first villager, noob. Hey, why does he always call me a noob? For every future building that you make, you can spawn an additional villager. Great, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I quite like that. Your current task is a small one, considering you took so much time updating everybody. Yes, I know I took a while, but they needed to know. I've been doing a lot of off-camera work. You must build your second farm. A cocoa bean farm! Well, I know how you do that. That's pretty cool. I'm not providing you with anything because I gave you so much coal. Because you're such a noob. Why do you keep calling me a noob? Shut up, P.S. But I know that you can do it. Good luck. You're gonna need it. P.S. Okay, this appears to be two more pages. Nothing and noob. Oh my gosh, what the heck is wrong with him? Okay, this guy obviously really doesn't like me. But I guess that's fine. That makes some sense since he kidnapped me and stuff, and trap me on this planet. But, yeah. Sorry that I've been doing so much Stranded Survival. I wanted to do a new series, yeah, Prison, but I couldn't make it good enough, a good quality for you guys. Uh, here's our first villager. Oh, it's Dr. Treoris. Yeah. 32 paper. Oh, that's actually really good. I have a ton of sugar cane. Sweet. You just stay in there, Dr. Treoris, and don't get yourself killed. So, that's nice. But he said he wants a cocoa bean farm. If I remember correctly, I already have a lot of jungle wood, so that's really good. So I won't even have to really cut the, down these trees, because I don't want to bore you guys. Wait, is that a creeper? Creeper! Yeah! This is Sparta! Ha! Huh. This is Sparta indeed. Uh, yeah, all these mobs spawned out here, but none in my base. I think I successfully... Did good with my... Eh, I did good with those torches. No. 
No, 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 no. Ow. Haha, <laughs> burn! 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 Mwahahaha! <laughs> he burned! So, yes, that guy just burned to death. Well, I also stabbed him a good amount. So, that's nice. Uh, uh, to business on to the business at hand. We need a cocoa bean. At least one. Let's see if I can get a few. Actually, got to swim across this channel. It's been a while since I've been this far away from my home. I've typically just been staying in that little complex of mine since this planet is so harsh. Uh, yeah, but I think I'm doing pretty well. What would you guys say? Leave a comment, uh, link, uh, leave a comment, and tell me how good you think I'm doing so far. For it with just the stuff that PS has given me. Yay, cocoa seeds! I want you. I want you, cocoa bean. Eh. So yeah, this is gonna be a nice large amount of cocoa bean seeds and stuff. Soon I'm gonna be rich in cookies. I'll be the ultimate cookie clicker because I'll own all the cookies. The master of cookie clicking. Won't that be fun? Huh, yeah, you can even see my sugarcane farm from here. It's so massive. Uh, I'm going to have to, like, uh, when I go to the nether, I'm going to have to, like, build a nether railroad. And, uh, like, make a whole place just for farming. Like, somewhere really far away from my base. Just dedicated to farming, because that would be pretty cool. Let's see, how many seeds do I have? Twelve. I think that'll be enough to start up a little farm, won't, don't you guys? Uh, so let's just retire back to our base. Okay, I guess while I am waiting, I will eat myself some bread. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Wait. Ah, uh, wait, no, I thought I was, I was going to say, ah, uh, there's cocoa beans right there. But no, I believe that that was the lava. And right here, I've got myself the beginning of a small cactus farm thingy. I uh, I'm using this desert for my house and villagers and stuff, so I don't have much room for a cactus farm, because I'll just... Uh, my villagers will just run into the cacti and die. Die and cacti. Cacti death. Die cacti. So weird to say. Oh, I left the door open. Hey, I could have let something in here. It's like a creeper just comes up and blows me up from behind. That would suck. Uh, yeah, I've got this little uh, dirt road going here so I can get some grass over to my plants. And yeah, that'll be pretty cool. But where to put this... A uh, cocoa bean farm. I'm thinking over near the normal farm in the mine because that's where it kind of seems to be the hub of our activity. I think I have some jungle. Yeah, I do have some jungle wood. 45 jungle wood. Exactly what I needed. Good thing I didn't break it down to planks. So let's see. Where should this go? Hey, it's a new villager. Yay. Uh, but yeah, I think... This place over here looks good, because I might want to extend the farm, but it's not going to just go over here. Though I might want to put something in this corner. It's nice for a little sop or something. I don't know. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what I should do. Huh. Uh, well, I can always just remove the cocoa bean farm when I eh, eh, want to put something else here. So, YOLO, let's just start building. Uh... So is me it for those of you who don't know how this stuff works, a cocoa bean farm is what you use to get infinite cocoa beans for your it, so that you can make infinite cookies and stuff and other it, and brown dye and stuff. Uh which is pretty sweet. And either way I just love farms in general. Uh what you need is Cocoa beans are from those cocoa bean things that I just broke, and you can grow them, but they only grow on jungle wood. Uh, so you need to make a little jungle wood for, well, like a wall. 
and then you can eh, just plant them. Actually, no, I need to get back up there. I think that's how tall I'm going to make it. Don't want it to be super massive because that's kind of necessary for the purpose. But yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, so that's our cocoa bean farm. Pretty sweet. I'm just putting random torches there just to be safe. And now for the final step, we start planting our cocoa beans. Look at those things. Don't they look swell? Uh, uh, yeah. And that, my friends, is how you make a cocoa bean farm. So, yeah. Our third farm has been created. Isn't that cool? Now, Dr. Treyoris is our first guy here. Let's see how he's doing. Okay, he's not in here. Let's see, where is he? Did he go into my house? Oh yeah, hey Dr. Treyors. So yeah, I can make I can convert a lot of paper and give them it for emeralds. Let's see. I think I might want to try some of that. I love sugarcane, and finally I have an actual use for it, other than just saying sugarcane is love, sugarcane is life. Okay, don't want to steal from the almighty sugarcane chest. Oh, by the way, tons of sugarcane. So I'll just cut down my stuff. And so I don't have to do double all around. I didn't want to obstruct the view. I put these here. So it'd be hard for real, eh, eh, mobs to get in this area. So I wouldn't have to obstruct the view to feel safe. But yeah. Pretty sweet. Uh, yeah. Sugarcane is love. Sugarcane is life. Infinite sugarcane forever. Look how much sugarcane I have. It's just going all over the place. It sounds insane. Uh, yeah. I used to go really slow and make sure I got all the sugar cane. But I just have so much now, it doesn't even matter if I forget a whole bunch. Because I still have too much sugar cane to even count. I bet I'm going to end up just, like, maxing out the tray just within, like, five seconds. Uh, yeah. It takes half a stack of paper to please this guy enough to give me one emerald. So, hmm. Uh, but yeah, let's go back down the line and pick up any sugar cane that I may have missed. And any that I accidentally broke, in, and I broke the bottom stock. Oh, it looks like at the end I got pretty much all of it. It was just kind of in the middle that I kind of dropped a whole bunch. Got kind of sloppy there in the middle of speed. Uh, yeah. You've got a second uh, resident on... Uh, on the noodle planet. I just want to get. Eh. I don't like wasting resources. Like some other people, just are like, I'm making a YouTube video. I'll just waste. A, eh, just forget about a little bit of those resources so I can get the video going. But not me. I eh, make sure to get as much as I can in the moment because I really want that. Yeah, I want all the stuff because I'm not a wasteful guy. That tree just won't grow. I don't know why. Like, I thought it was because there are other big trees in the way, so it couldn't grow. But it still hasn't grown, even though I moved that, like, ten Minecraft days ago. Because I've just been doing some farming and stuff. I've done a lot of work. Now, let's see. Boom. Three stacks of paper. Boom. That's two. And six emeralds. Yay, he's happy. Let's see what our new trade is. Uh, a book in 18 emeralds makes flame wa That is a horrible trade. I might have to kill you. No, I really shouldn't. Wait, let's see if I can make any more of this stuff. I didn't realize I had another. Oh, so close to having and being able to get two more emeralds. But yeah. Pretty sweet, and I maxed out the trade. Well, derp you. I'm not ever spending that other trade, most likely, unless I really need flame for something. So I guess paper. Uh, I guess that qualifies as living stuff since it's a product of the sugarcane. I don't feel like walking that all the way over. And in ores, I got seven emeralds. Oh, yeah. 
and I'm going to need to plant this seed. And yeah, I organize all this stuff. The mob drops, I'll throw them in here. Oh, I forgot I was over there. I said put in that cactus. Uh, I want that. Uh, jungle wood, I don't need you anymore. I only used about two thirds of my stuff. I'm going to keep this building supplies. But yeah, I think this might be an episode. Now uh, let's take a little snooze, stare out at the stars. Yay. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so yes, I believe that this is an episode. I quite enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed all of our new additions to the Noodle Planet. And if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and join the Slimeling Rebellion where we rebel against the haters, the grievers, the spammers, and those who mess up our gaming experience. Uh, I'm sorry, I have done so much trying to survive it once again. I'll try to get something out, another thing out soon. Until next time, I am your host, Banana Slime. Goodbye.